Do you guys follow certain etiquette at restaurants? I try, man, because people are, I don't know, stuff goes on at restaurants. You're like, what is wrong with you guys? You know, there are other people here trying to eat. I will say that I'm hyper aware of being, like, appropriate. (laughs) Right. I think because it was instilled to me at a young age, my dad and mom, they would not put up with anything when they took us out to a restaurant. There are three girls, my mom and dad, when we were young. They would not put up with any type of hijinks. Right. Like, we used to want to do, like, the straw thing where you could tap up the the soda in the straw and then drink it out the other (laughs) end. Oh, my gosh. You're sent out to the car. (laughs) I mean, they do not put up with that kind of crap. No acting up, nothing. You're quiet. You have quiet conversation. You are polite. That is how I grew up, and I continue that to this very day. Did you ever get yelled at for, like... When your soda glass is empty and you're still yes, <laughs> every no, ounce out no of that. Slurping. Yeah. Yeah, no slurping, yeah, zero slurping. Absolutely, Lewis. That was a hard, fast rule in our family: no slurping. So, a uh, big survey came out. It shows me that most of us have that same kind of common sense, uh, but there are people who think certain things are okay. And there, I got this list, and uh, uh, we'll just kind of go around and read some of these things off the list. The the highlights rank from the most to least acceptable behaviors in a restaurant. Uh, the first one is, and, and I didn't even know this was a thing, asking for a to-go container to take leftovers home. 93% of people say that's acceptable. Why who wouldn't the hell it be? are you 7% who don't think I should be able to take my leftovers home? Yeah. I, I just, what is that? I don't know. Why wouldn't you take your leftovers home? I don't home? know. Are you supposed to eat them all there or just what? Now, I mean, here's what I will say. A bad idea is when you are going out to dinner and then you uh, take your leftovers, but then you're going to a movie afterwards. Don't bring the leftovers in the movie theater. I don't want to smell that. And don't leave them out in your car because they're going to be gross by the time you get back there. So that, I would say, not a good idea. But I always take leftovers. I yeah, want to eat that stuff absolutely. the next day, baby. As if long, not on the way long, home. As long as the young girl in the house doesn't throw it out. <laughs> Uh, sending back a dish that wasn't made as specified, 84% say that's acceptable, 7% say it's not. Again, who's the people that say it's not? Okay, I might be in that category. Really? It. Not that it's not right. I understand that you should be served what you ordered. I, I completely understand that. But it absolutely like feels humiliating to do that to me. For oh. some reason, it makes me feel so uncomfortable to have somebody send a dish back, I would never, ever do it. I don't care what you served me. If I ordered steak and you brought me fish, I'm eating the fish. <laughs> no, I I'm eating the fish. No, I couldn't go that far. I'd have to complain I about that. I wouldn't do it. because. And number two, I'm not going to make everyone else at my table wait for them to remake my meal. That's the biggest problem. I'm not problem. doing it. That is the biggest problem. Yeah, yeah. but see... If I order something, I because I am the king of modifying my food. Everybody who's gone out to eat with me will tell you this. Yeah. I will modify the hell out of what's on that menu. We're not going worked, to dinner with yeah. him. No, because having worked in a restaurant, oh, we can't do that. BS. Yes, you can. You very much can. You can leave. You know, so I want it a certain way or else I wouldn't have ordered it that way. Yeah. My, my concern is it's like I think it's acceptable to... You know, send it back, but I won't because I'm afraid of what might happen. To well, but it. I mean, now it's one thing where if well, I said, if I said, "Hey, I want no tomato," and there's slices of tomato on something, I'll pull the slices of tomato off before I mayo, send it back. It's mixed on. But in. if it's mayo and I want, because I don't like mayo, no right. mayo. Yeah, no, I don't want mayo on my bun. Get me another bun. Get me whatever. I'm not paying for mayo that I will not eat and that will taint the rest of the taste of my food. So no. Yeah, I think to Thick's point is you're worried about what's going to happen if you send your food back. You Man. might be worried about what, yeah. what would happen. Um, I think it may be the manner in which you s- send it back would be very important yeah. there. Like, I am so sorry. Like, I hate to do this, and I'm going to give you an extra tip for this only because I'm making you do extra work. But whatever. All right, number three, taking photos of your food. 75% of people <laughs> say it's acceptable. 13% say it's not. Yeah, you, you go ahead and take pictures of your food. But if you can post it on social media, I also have the right to unfriend you. <laughs> I love looking at pictures of food. Do you? I, I follow a, an account on TikTok called Food Porn. I love to watch wow. the making of food. I like mm-hmm. to watch look at pictures. I love pictures okay, of food. I understand that. But 
do, do you know people online that that's all they do every day, post pictures of everything they Who eat? Who are those people? Because I want to friend them. Really? Yes, I love it. That I is the content I okay. look for. Well, I, I have a I friend. Enjoy of, it. I have a friend of mine that anytime he smokes something in his smoker, he'll take a picture of it. Yeah, not I like a, that kind of stuff. Not a going in Kelly, eight hours is going to be great. <laughs> all three of us know a guy in this business. His name's Adam Schneider, and he posts a picture of every single every restaurant meal, he goes to. I love he it. Goes, everything. Keep well, it coming, baby. Schneider's the best. I love him, <laughs> but he does. <laughs> drives me crazy. Me and my wife had this. Had this for dessert. Had this for a snack in the car on the yeah. way to the restaurant. I haven't seen Adam Schneider in years, and you know I will never unfriend him because of his food pictures. I, I absolutely love it. I took a picture of food this morning. I told you guys about it. Honey banana grilled cheese sandwich. Yum. Daddy's ready to try this. Yummy, baby. Ugh. Now, some restaurants... <laughs> If you have a reservation, they won't seat you until everybody's there. Oh, okay. Uh, and you can even ask to be seated before the entire party arrives. Only 69% of people say that's acceptable. No. So you've got a third Asking of people. Asking to be seated? Before the rest of the party arrives. Oh, yeah. No, sit me down. Yeah. A lot of restaurants will not. That, I don't care. I don't. If they don't, if right. that's their policy, it doesn't bother me. That's fine. Hmm. But I'll ask. All right. Uh, asking for a table near a power outlet to charge their oh, devices. Oh, God. See, now, come on. 51% hey. say it's acceptable. 29 not. And 20 not so sure. Come on. Okay. I Let mean, me tell you. When you're on 9% juice. Kelly's going to And you've got a whole evening ahead of you. Like, I don't need to look at my phone while I'm on. I will ask if I can charge at the... Or, I would ask. Or you if could I was let your phone desperate. die and just be in the moment of the evening. No, I don't mind. Like, I wouldn't ever, and I don't, I'm not on my phone during meal times or anything at a restaurant. But if I'm on, if my battery is down to 9% and I've got a whole evening out and I'm going to need my phone, I think that I would ask at least if I could plug my phone into a outlet near the i don't know the table the, the front near near the front area the desk whatever if i'm desperate i will yes why don't you just leave it in the car and charge it in the car i don't have a car charger but that would be a good idea but don't you have to have your motor on you have to have your engine on my no? jeep will charge my phone while it sits in there whether okay. the motor's on or not well only half of people thought it was acceptable yeah. to do that to ask for a table okay. close to an outlet you know. i would do it if i was desperate all right. Are you next or am I? You are. I am? Yeah. Okay. Taking an extended period of time to decide what to order. <laughs> now we're getting into my pet peeves. All right. It depends on where you go, though. <laughs> oh, Cheesecake Factory, dude. It's, it's an, an hour to read that me- menu. I mean, <laughs> my God. You know. The thing is, here's the thing, okay? There's an order of business, when, especially if you're going to go to a restaurant. If it's not just with your spouse. Say you're with friends or whatever, and you all want to chit-chat and chit-chat. I start feeling anxiety when people aren't looking at the menu because I know that waitress is going to or waiter is going to come up to the table and say, hey, do you need extra time? The thing is, I'm hungry. I have set our dinner time at a time where I am ready to eat. Like, I need food. So please, for the love of God, first things first, look at the menu and decide what you're going to eat. And then let's talk the night away. Shouldn't you have an idea? (laughs) If you go to a specific restaurant, shouldn't you have an idea of what you're going to get when you go in there? Beforehand, I like to do that. I was just going to say, I love going to restaurants where I know what I want. I don't even need a menu. There are certain restaurants where that is the case. I don't have to even look at a menu. I'll use Skyline Chili because I'm a Cincinnati (laughs) kid. If you go in Skyline and you need to study the menu for a while, you shouldn't be in Skyline. (laughs) Right. Do you want a Coney or a Way? It's not hard. <laughs> how about Figure it out. Uh, how about flirting with the staff? Like, is it okay to flirt with the waiter or the waitress? Depends on if they're better or looking than the person you're with or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm 50, kidding. 57% of people say no, it is not acceptable. I mean, I like to have friendly banter. Yeah. Flirting to me crosses a line. Well, I just like, I don't... <sighs> I I know that that the wait staff have flirted before. I've I've witnessed that. Yeah. You know, but I guess you're not supposed to uh, start that. Kelly, you need to friend Kyle. Kyle Hobbs. He takes pictures of everything he eats. <laughs> All right, that's my kind of Facebook friend right there. Uh, flirting with staff. All right. I don't know. Who cares? I guess. Yeah. Uh, bringing outside food or drinks to the restaurant. 14% say it's acceptable. 71% <laughs> say it's not. <laughs> now, I will say if you're going to kind of an adult restaurant, but yeah. you have your kids with you, I think it's okay to bring a young child food. 
into the restaurant okay. because they won't have anything the young child wants. Yeah, I like that. What but, if you don't want to pay $4 for a glass of pop and you just bring your own two liter in? I'm no. good. <laughs> That's like, that goes back to what Kelly was talking about, taking food to the movie theater. Yeah, you I know. always do that. Oh, you do do that? Uh, uh, oh. I, 100% That's of the time. Right. Yeah, you have said that. Okay. I will go to Target and purchase my movie candy. You're I am not, not spending to. $20 on snow caps. You're not Sorry. supposed to do that. Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Why do you think I bring my giant purse? Again, here's the, rule, fo- the rule follower over here. I'm a rule follower to a point. I just put. I just keep my candy in my nether regions. That way, when nobody's looking, I just reach down. Ooh, and they're nice and warm, absolutely. too. That melty chocolate. Absolutely. Mm. Kelly's like, I'm right. Karen until I'm not Karen. Listen, <laughs> here's a good one that is a really really awful rude thing across the board you guys snapping your fingers to get the waiter's attention oh no way no you snap you'll go Uh -uh. for a long time without any service i say you deserve to be ignored if you're going to snap your fingers i agree you get what you get i agree uh debating menu prices with your waiter you can't what oh that's that's absurd i didn't know that was a bargain deal yeah uh the burger and fries is 12.79 hold on will you take (laughs) 9.50 for that that's not enough flea market. The wait staff doesn't set the prices, but there are 8% of people who think that's acceptable. That's so wild. This is my pet peeve. Allowing your children to roam freely. Uh uh-uh. uh. And five percent no. is acceptable. Ninety percent say no. No, it is not the wait staff or anybody's job at that restaurant to babysit or entertain Mm-mm. your ungodly heathens that you let run through the restaurant. No. I don't mind kids have be having fun at a table and acting up and laughing and doing what they do. Like I, I don't really mind that or crying children. You cannot help that. But letting kids run free around a restaurant is absolutely unacceptable. Yeah. Could not agree more. All right. Uh, how about uh, somebody saying they won't pay for a dish they didn't like, but still ate? <laughs> oh, they ate the dish? Or even just saying they didn't like it? Well, if you, I mean, if you take a couple bites and there's something wrong and you say this is no, terrible. No, you just don't like it. Yeah. Too bad. That's here's, tough. Here's where I will say restaurants make mistakes. Comping my food doesn't necessarily make it better. I did not go out with the intention that I wanted a free meal. I went out with the intention that I wanted a good meal and I wanted something from your establishment. So if it's messed up and I've had a bad night, you comping it doesn't necessarily always fix the problem. No, but it helps. (laughs) Because again, okay, cool. You gave me a pile of crap for free. Thanks. (laughs) That's what I wanted on a Friday night. (laughs) 